Hi, I'm Robin Eddington, Head of Product Design at Cambridge Mechatronics, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the mechanical design of our SMA actuators. Every SMA actuator starts with a static component fixed to another part of the product, such as a PCB in a smartphone handset. Acting as a foundation, it anchors the actuator structure. Counter to the static is the moving component. This is a dynamic segment which harnesses the SMA actuation displacements and transfers them to the thing you want to move. This could be a camera lens or image sensor, moving a fluidics valve or interacting with an adjacent system in a device. Connected between the static and moving components are the SMA actuation units. Often these are simply the SMA wires themselves. Alternatively, the SMA wires can be linked by flexures or other mechanisms which modify force and stroke. SMA wires can also guide the motion of the moving part, removing the need for ball bearings or guide springs. This reduces the size and cost of the actuator. Attachment of the SMA wire is a critical process as a mechanically strong and electrically stable bond is required. SMA wire crimping, a method pioneered and perfected by CML, has become the standard for joining SMA wires to actuators. To date, tens of millions of SMA actuators have been manufactured and reliably operated in the field using this technique. When SMA wire is heated, it contracts and the moving part is actuated. The wires are arranged so that the contraction of one wire can be synchronized with the extension of another, preparing it to pull the moving part in the opposite direction when required. CML's proprietary resistance control delivers accurate motion without hall sensors, and so this reduces the size and cost of the actuator further. Finally, to ensure full reliability, we introduce mechanical end stops which limit the displacement of the moving part. This prevents the SMA wire from overextending if product experiences shock, like when a user drops their smartphone. SMA wires replace coils, magnets, bearings and hall sensors, which enable small, simple actuators. When combined with the natural benefits of SMA, which are high force, non-magnetic, efficiency and precision, it is possible to tailor the actuator design to many applications. Examples of these are cameras or haptic devices in smartphones, fluidic valves or pumps in medical products, or actuators that manipulate lenses or displays in AR, VR headsets. For more information on SMA and its applications, you can check out our website or the other videos on our channel.